Not all door openings are equipped with gasketing and thresholds, but these products may be required to perform a function like restricting airflow, smoke infiltration, sound, light, heat, or cold. Thresholds and gasketing affect life safety, security, energy efficiency, and knowing which product to use where is the key. Gasketing is installed at the head and jams of a door opening. Astragals or meeting style gasketing is installed at the meeting styles of pairs. At the bottom of the opening, a threshold may be installed along with a sweep or automatic door bottom. Common gasketing materials include neoprene, silicone, nylon brush, pile, and vinyl. Neoprene is more resistant than silicone to abrasion and tearing, and is often used in products such as door bottoms, sweeps, and other products that require this durability. Silicone allows color to be used in the gasketing and returns to its original shape when the gasketing is not compressed. Nylon brush is durable but does not resist light and sound as well as the other materials. Pile is most often in gasketing for aluminum storefront doors or all glass doors. Vinyl is sometimes used for residential projects but may not be resilient or durable enough for commercial or institutional use. Gasketing may also incorporate an intumescent material which expands when heated to fill the gaps around a door and frame or between the meeting styles of pairs. The most common application for intumescent is for use with a fire door assembly, but not all fire door assemblies require intumescent gasketing. Some seals are self-adhesive, also called PSA or pressure sensitive adhesive, and are applied directly to the door or frame. Gasketing may also be installed into a kerf or channel in the frame, but many gasketing materials are held by an aluminum extrusion, which may be anodized in a clear, brass, or dark bronze finish. Stainless steel and brass bronze gasketing is also available, but less commonly used because of the cost. Thresholds are available in many different shapes and sizes, and conditions at the sill must be considered when selecting a threshold. A saddle threshold, beveled equally on both sides, is the most common type and is available in varying widths and heights. Another option is a threshold that is raised on one side to ease a transition at the sill. Rabbited thresholds, also called panic or latch track thresholds, incorporate a ridge design to seal against the bottom of the door. These thresholds can be difficult to properly coordinate with the door undercut. Ramp thresholds are used when there is a rise at the sill that cannot be addressed by another type of threshold. The clearance between the bottom of the door and the threshold or floor may need to be sealed depending on the application. This is not generally a requirement for fire doors or smoke doors, but may be necessary when the purpose of the gasketing is to reduce air infiltration or light sound transmission. A door sweep requires the least critical coordination and should have a raised threshold to seal against. An automatic door bottom raises as the door opens and drops as the door closes, but may require maintenance, especially for high traffic locations. Gasketing selection may be affected by codes and standards addressing fire ratings, accessibility, acoustics, privacy, and energy codes. These requirements may vary from one jurisdiction to the next, but there are some general guidelines to keep in mind. Gasketing, thresholds, and other components used on fire door assemblies must be listed for that purpose. Fire doors with non-compliant clearances are not made compliant by installing gasketing to fill the gap unless the product has been tested and listed specifically for that purpose. Doors which are required to inhibit the passage of smoke may be required by code to limit air infiltration to a certain level when tested in accordance with UL 1784, standard for air leakage tests of door assemblies and other opening protectives. The gasketing products that meet this requirement are indicated as such in the manufacturer's catalog. It's often helpful to install gasketing that is adjustable, so that imperfections in the installation of the doors or frames can be corrected. Meeting style gasketing or an overlapping astragal may be needed in order to reduce smoke infiltration or to meet a fire door manufacturer's listing requirements. Astragals are not mandated by recent additions of NFP 80, standard for fire doors and other opening protectives, but the standard does state that an overlapping astragal, if used in a fire door, should project approximately three quarter of an inch. Overlapping astragals must not inhibit egress through either leaf of the pair, and a coordinator may be required to close the doors in the correct sequence, so attention to these details is important. Standards for classroom acoustics, security standards, and privacy requirements such as HIPAA, the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, often result in a need for sound seal. The sound transmission class, STC, ratings of various combinations of products are often stated in the manufacturer's catalogs 
to help when selecting products for this purpose. The door and frame materials will also factor into the STC rating of the opening. Applying seals that have a high STC rating to a door with a low STC rating will not increase the overall rating of the opening beyond that of the lowest rated component. Accessibility standards come into play as well. The standards typically limit the threshold height to a total of one half inch for new installations with up to one quarter inch vertical rise allowed and a slope of one to two for a rise of one quarter inch to one half inch. If the rise is higher than one half inch, the maximum slope allowed is one to 12. Many threshold manufacturers offer ramp components which can be combined to accommodate various heights and configurations. Accessibility standards also limit the amount of force required to open many doors. Gasketing can affect a door's opening force by creating a tight seal which needs to be overcome to open the door, or by requiring increased closing force to compress the gasket. To watch more videos, visit our training page at www.allegion.com/us.